Keep it up with Kara. Go. You can watch all the time. New videos every Friday at 12 p.m. You know what to do. Go ahead and join Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Kara's crew. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kira, and you are watching Keeping Up with Kira. Let's get into today's video. I said, oh, oh jump, jump scare. <laughs> you see what we working with under this hat. Oh. Do you see my hair? Guys, let's just take a moment for this masterpiece. <laughs> my hair looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, This was a wash and go. It definitely washed and went. <laughs> and it's time to wash my hair again because it's a wrap for you, girl. I gotta I gotta wash it but yeah I'm gonna give you guys an overview of what it looks like before I wash it it looks it looks absolutely great right so good so good all right let's get into it so before I wash it I'm going to apply this African pride moisture miracle pre shampoo if you've seen my how to detangle natural hair video you know that this stuff is the truth when I tell you this is like my favorite product of all time it's my favorite hair product I love it it's instantaneous like as soon as you apply it to your hair it's so easy to manage your hair it's so easy to comb through your hair to detangle your hair it's just it's amazing it's literally the best product I honestly wish it was an everyday detangler and not a pre shampoo that way I could use it all the time because girl I would be using it all the time but yeah it's just a pre shampoo you have to wash it out don't say I didn't warn you guys. Wash it out, okay? Don't try to use it as a regular detangler. All right, so after I apply the pre-shampoo, I'm going to twist that section. I'm going to apply the pre-shampoo to each section of my head and oh my twist God. it, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So you're going to keep these sections. I have four sections, right? You're going to wash it all out in those sections. After you wash the pre-shampoo your regular shampoo and conditioner out you're going to keep those four sections in and apply the leave-in conditioner so i'm using the shea moisture leave-in conditioner this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners i feel like it really works well with my hair and it smells good also it's my go-to leave-in conditioner when i'm going to be blow drying my hair because i feel like it it really strengthens and restores like it says in the description I like that product a lot so yeah here i am applying the leave-in conditioner we're going to comb it all through and twist it up you want to just keep working in sections especially if you have thick natural hair sections 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 okay so i'm just gonna twist it up and continue to do that throughout my entire head twisting it will not only help you to be able to manage your hair a lot easier but if you're doing a heatless method, aka the banding method, like so, it's great because you just use your scrunchies to stretch your hair and you don't have to apply heat at all. You can just do that and stop there. But I'm not going to stop there because I want to blow dry my hair. But this is just an option. You don't have to blow dry your hair. You can do the banding method with your scrunchies, stretch your hair, let it dry sit under the dryer and it'll stretch your hair just fine you don't need to put heat on your hair i'm putting heat on my hair because i don't do it very often so yes i'm going to be applying the heat directly to each section you definitely could split each section into smaller sections but if you're short on time and you want to you know get your head hair done a little bit faster definitely work within four sections and it'll be fine but if you want a more bone straight silk press i guess look. definitely split each section into smaller sections but that wasn't my goal for today's video it wasn't my goal for this hairstyle i just wanted a blow dried look and after each section i'm going to be applying the african pride five essential oils to that section once i apply the oil i brush it all the way through that section and then i apply the heat one more time to that specific section you do not have to apply the heat a second time I just did it because that's what I did <laughs> and here is the final results so guys I'm gonna warn you you're going to see my hair and you're gonna think why is her hair all different lengths right and I wish I had an answer for you I truly do all I can say is I trim my hair and sometimes different sections need more trimming than other sections and so that's why when you look to the left it looks like a horse bit out of my hair however it'll look fine 
once you curl it when it's in its curled state you don't notice <laughs> the the length difference but we're just gonna you know move past that we don't talk about that section no 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 okay so for this portion of the video i will only be using african pride and i'm using the hair moisturizing lotion and the foam setting mousse so i apply the lotion first to that piece of hair next i go up with the foam setting mousse i twist the top of that piece of hair and then i comb it comb it through so that there are no knots and i use my perm rod and I go roll, 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 roll it up, roll it up. And this is how my hair looks with all the perm rods in. 24 hours later. All right, babes, it's been 24 hours. It's time to see what my hair looks like. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Get excited, I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna go in with some more African Pride 5 essential oils. You wanna make sure your hands are nice and oiled up because you want to eliminate any frizz. You wanna make it as easy as possible to take these rollers out. So yes, let's get into it. Okay, so I just sped this part up a little bit, but you see, you see how my hair is turning out so far. So you wanna take out all the perm rods, right? In case some of your perm rods are broken, here's a hack, you can use a bobby pin, okay? A lot of you probably already know that, but I'm sure there's someone out there who didn't think, oh, I could still use my broken perm rods because I can use a bobby pin instead. So this is what my hair looks like after I take all the perm rods out. And now we're going to continue. We're not going to stop there. We're going to separate each curl. And this is what your hair will look like. Well, not your hair specifically because your hair could be longer. Your hair could be shorter. Your hair could be thicker. Your hair could be thinner. But you get what I'm saying. This is how my hair turned out. And I love it. My hair smells so good. I wish you guys could smell how good my hair smells. It smells amazing. And here is my hair with the flash on. I turned my camera around so you guys can see. <laughs> Y'all see my hair? Okay. Okay, beautiful. Okay, child of God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really like my hair results. And yeah, so you can go in to each curl and separate a little bit more to your liking. And yes you will get that full voluminous hair this is the before and after tell me guys what do you think is this a big improvement from the before let me know in the comments thank you all so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe see you next friday at 12 p.m Kara's crew Kara's crew joy Kara's crew don't forget to catch up on previous videos